Hi, this is Jen Rush with WMS Radio AM 1420, and your name? Dana Tabasia. And these are some beautiful paintings you have out here. Thank oh, you. What kind of mediums do you work in? I only work in oil. I used to paint in watercolor, but I switched over about four or five years ago, and now I paint nothing but oils. How long have you been painting? Oh my gosh, 30 years. Wow. <laughs> Where do you get your inspiration for all these pieces? Well, I will either see something on the street or I will see a photograph and then I will just tweak it ever so lightly or heavily, depends, um, such as this painting behind you, it, just a beautiful little girl and I redressed her and then gave her a velvet heart to hold. So it's just things that come to me, you know, and I don't know where they come from. <laughs> But I do, I love painting faces more than anything else. I mean, I, I love portraiture. And of course, as you can see, I like my flowers too. So. Uh, where can people find your artwork? Um, well, at this art fair, and then I'm going to be doing the um, schoolhouse shop show in September also. But my business cards, I have a website, it's just my name, DanaDebasia.com, okay. it's there with my phone number and I'm easy to find, I live in Michiana Shores. <laughs> okay, well thank you so much. Okay, well thank you. Yeah, thank you. And this is Johnny Rush with WIMS Video and I'm talking to Li Linda Simmons of the LaPorte County Convention and Visitors Bureau and this is a very nice output, like a lot of people coming out here today for uh, this event. Absolutely, this is great. Our weather this year is perfect, more and more people are coming out and uh, we're hoping to just take advantage of the fine artists that we have in the area and so on and, and go around, do some shopping, look at the booth and obviously stop at the tourism uh, booth and pick up some brochures and so on and just have a good time today. And in a way, this has to be an exciting time for you guys because everybody I talk to keeps saying like with the gas prices this and with the airline you can't go anywhere so now it's almost time for you guys to put your best foot forward and say hey look what we have going on right now just right now today and next week there's the boat show there's so much going on in their own backyard this is a fun time of the year for us and you're right people are theme drive less get away more and it's really working people are looking for shorter distances to go to but still being able to have family fun good dining entertainment and so on and we offer all of that in LaPorte County so we're looking forward to wrapping up tomorrow here at the Lakefront Art Festival. Everyone knows about the great boat show we have coming up next week, and we're real excited about that. The Echo Fit Challenge, which is coming up uh, September 13th, and I know you guys are all over that as well. So this is a fun time for us because there's something to do in Michigan City and LaPorte County every weekend, and that's going to be going through Oktoberfest with the Summer Festival group. Yeah, it seems like every single week we say this is it. This is the ultimate event here from Lake County. Or Poor County. And, but then there's always something else coming up around the corner. In fact, there's uh, Labor Days is coming up. Yes, Labor Days, and that's once again uh, Washington Park, uh, put on by the Summer Festival Group. And once again, another great way to wrap up the season. Uh, Labor Days is a lot of fun, uh, food, rides, and just people gathering around the lake front and so on to just, you know, say goodbye to the, the great summer we've had and kids are getting ready to go back to school. But it's a great, fantastic, another, another opportunity that we have throughout the year, throughout the summer, but people People have a chance to get out and just have fun. Right, and then of course everybody's uh, winding down with summer now. We're having a few big hurrahs, but I'm sure you guys are looking forward to uh, fall and everything coming up here, including like the orchards and the farming and gardening. Yes, in fact, our orchards brochure uh, just came out yesterday, so we've got that all out. In fact, we've got the pamphlets here and at the visitor center. Our calendar of events for September through December uh, will be available starting at the boat show next week. So we'll have those on all the other events for the rest of this year. That'll be taken care of. And then the big thing we've got going on will be smooth jazz and we're bringing in uh, all types of saxophonists and so on that uh, it's an annual event the bureau is part to uh, happy to be a sponsor of that as well so it's just it's just a great time of the year for us and and our, our our tourists and so on we want them to come in and enjoy themselves eat spend the night and then come back and do some more and of course for the people at home right now that are watching this on youtube and they say there's nothing to do here i live in michigan city there's nothing to do there's, i'm in laporte chesterton wherever there's nothing to do is there a website or phone number where people can call and get a hold of you guys to find out exactly what a family can do to this weekend absolutely our website address is www.visitlaportcounty.com and if you go on that website it has all the contact information that you need and we'd be happy to just 
put an itinerary together for you if we need to, and that's what we do. And we want people to come out to LaPorte County. We do have a lot of things going on, and between the orchards and everything else, that this is a fun place to be. The weather is 80 degrees today, and we're looking for a fantastic week next week for the boat show. So come visit us, and we'd love to have you here and show off what we can do. And you can also stop at our visitor center at 1503 South Mirror Road, right here in Michigan City, and we've got brochures, and we can answer any other questions that you might have. Hi, this is Jennifer Rush with WIMS AM 1420, and your name? Anastasia Snyder. Uh, what kind of work do you have out here? We have hand-cut stained glass and recycled window frames, and we also do the stained glass on tabletops, and we do custom orders. If a person has a piece, we can jazz it up. Very affordably priced. And how long does it take for you to do this type of thing? Well, it's about a three-step process. With the windows, you kind of, first you're going to imagine what you want to do with the picture. Then you're going to pick your colors, and um, it's hand cut, so you cut out your design, and you lay the glass in the recycled window frame. And then you have to let that dry, obviously. You grout in the middle, or this one is the double panes glass in glass, so this one is groutless, the clear collection. Um, it lets a little bit more light in. So either or. And where else can uh, people see your artwork or get yeah. some of this stuff? We have a shop and it's called The Great Escape Spot, an art shop. It's in Michigan City, about five minutes from here on Friar Road, 708 Friar Road. Ann Jones. And you look like you do a lot of pictures up here. <laughs> I've been doing this for 36 years. It's a long time to be doing it. Mm -hmm. Looks like you do a lot of different me in a lot of different media too. Actually, most of these are chalk pastel or charcoal. Um, that's an oil painting right there. I have one here. Um, and I do oils and acrylics, but most of the stuff I do at a show like this is chalk or charcoal. And these are all just requests from different people that ask for a lot, drawing? Yeah, a few of them are mine, you know, my own kids, my own grandchild, but um, most of them are commissions that people have ordered from me and they either give me photographs or I take photographs and um, I work right off in black and white like this. I take about a half hour a person. Color takes a few hours, two or three hours, so I um, usually take those home and, you know, get them back to people I ship. And how did you get uh, into the Lebesnik Center, the art center? I just applied. I, I saw it on the internet and I had heard about it and had never done it. And people recommended it, other artists, so you do a lot of a lot of shows like these? I do. I do a lot of festivals and shows all over the place. I'm from Northwest Indiana, but I I'll go about an hour and a half from home. I don't go much further than that. And how much do you charge for this type of work? Black and white is usually fifty a head. If you do it at a show like this, it's thirty five a head. And then color is usually a hundred and fifty a head. If you do it at a show like this, it's seventy five. And then at a place not at a show like this, how do they get a hold of you? Um, they can call me or they can email me. My phone number is 219-226-0871. My email address is dajsb at aol.com. Okay, thank you so much. Have, I also have a website that's okay. um, annjonesportraits.com. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Kathleen Sherrard. And uh, what, what all do you have out here? I hand dye and hand paint silk. So everything that you see here... I have started out as white yardage. And how long does it take you to do a uh, scarf or something like that? It all depends on what I'm working because the scarves, of course, are smaller. I've got the big pieces. I do the jackets. I hand, I sew everything also. So. And what kind of price range are these in? Um, my scarves, right now I'm running a show special. They're $20. Then we've got these cute little jackets. They run 50 to 60 And then we go over here, and everything is priced as marked. These are butterfly jackets, so you have the illusion of a butterfly as you wear them. They're actually my own design, layered. There's the back of the wings. There's the front of the jacket. How long have you been doing this? I've been silking for about 10 years, but before that I did a lot of painting, stained glass. I was just kind of roaming to see what I <laughs> wanted to really do, and when I saw a silk demonstration many years ago, I said, oh, this is it, right? And how does someone uh, get some of your artwork uh, when you're not here? Basically, if they've bought from me before, they'll have my phone number.